From the patient's clinical presentation, we can determine that she is suffering from fibromyalgia, a condition that affects females more often than males and is common between the ages of 40 and 60 years. The pain occurs at several points above and below the waist, and symptoms have to be present for at least three months. The clue for fibromyalgia on her physical exam is point tenderness with light palpation on at least 11 of 18 points all over the body. The patients may also complain of fatigue and difficulty sleeping. In addition, on labs we find that there is a normal ESR level. The best initial conservative measure for fibromyalgia is a low impact aerobic exercise program with the goal to progress to moderate intensity aerobic exercise. This makes choice B the correct answer. Now let's go over the other answer choices. Choice A, low dose prednisone, is not used to treat fibromyalgia. It is a treatment option for polymyalgia rheumatica. This is a condition that causes pain and stiffness in the neck and shoulder areas and almost exclusively occurs after the age of 50. It is also associated with an elevated ESR. About 30% of the time, PMR is associated with temporal arteritis. Choice C, NSAIDs, is not a good treatment option alone for fibromyalgia but can be used with amitriptyline to help control the pain. Choice D, ANA blood levels, is not necessary since the patient does not have systemic symptoms, which makes the screening test for SLE unnecessary at this time. Choice E, diagnostic EMG test is also unnecessary, since the patient does not have complaints of numbness or tingling that would indicate nerve conduction problems. The medications approved for the treatment of fibromyalgia include tricyclic antidepressants such as amitriptyline, pregabellin, and selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors like duloxetine, but should not replace an aerobic exercise program with these medications. Aerobic exercise is not only good for the fibromyalgia, but also beneficial for physical and mental wellness.